Hello. Hello. So we're going to get into the lobby soon for Super versus Forte. Yeah, or we should be at least. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. This is a qualifying match. Uh, already qualified as well is Gumiho. Who qualified over Siegfried, who got a walkover over top. Oh, very nice. Test um, Forte versus Super. Is Wardy around? Maybe he'll want to... Uh, no, I think Wardy's already in the game. Alive is doing very nice things and saying, asking if you want to cast him. Your guy Alive has been really all about that lately. Yeah, um, so I still don't know if he doesn't trust me about lobby making or he's just trying to be a good guy and wants to do his own, you know, he's a big boy, but... Uh, I messaged both of them to invite. I hope they didn't actually start. Super just said, like, no problem with casting. Uh, yeah, Live's confused too. Like, well, Super's playing now, so what are you guys doing? <laughs> uh, I guess we'll. Tell, just tell Live, wait one second. Wait, just one sec. If they don't invite us, we'll assume they went for some reason. Alrighty then. Sounds fair. I mean, either way, as long as we get into a game soonish, less down time right. the better. Because oh, crazy. Uh, I guess just invite us to a live. We're not getting an invite, so maybe they started without us. Even though I, I don't understand the conversation is literally. Oh no, zero zero. Ah, can we cast? Yes, no problem. Hearts, and then. <laughs> <laughs> And go, I guess. It's possible within the fan of 20 seconds they forgot and they want to remake. I'm actually, I'm a, I'm a little worried that if I was a pro gamer, I would do that, not to dick people over, but just because I'd be like, okay, I got the lobby set up and my opponent's ready, okay, I'm gonna, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, you just weren't thinking about it. Sure. <clears throat> uh, who is Alive facing? Rainer, right? Yeah, okay, so Alive's definitely just in the lobby because Rainer's not in the game yet either. <laughs> Uh, quick shout out to Spike Bonchi for the two months. Thank you so much for that resub. Thank you for saving esports. That was uh, the most sarcastic looking clap. I didn't mean it that way. Tanya, you're being a grump today, dude. It's showing through now to like your sarcastic claps. I only been leaking. a grump to you. I don't want to see my face in the early morning. Why do I gotta watch OBS? Well, you want me to blow the picture up really big and tweet it? Is that what you say? <laughs> I wish you could see the face I'm making right now. Well, for someone who doesn't want people looking at her face, you sure do wish you could see your face a lot. We should God. check back in the stream in one minute and 50 seconds. Yeah, I would actually, but I'm 100% going to forget about it in like 10 seconds from now. <laughs> <laughs> you ever do Stream that? Like, now. You make like a, like a conscious note to say, okay, do this in 10 seconds. In 10 seconds, you're like, who am I supposed to do something? I mean, What's basically every single time you get on stairs for something. What was I doing? Right? Exactly. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know. So, all right. So, great. Okay. I mean, well, Forte versus Super would have been really cool. That would have been a TVP. Uh, Alive versus Rainer isn't so bad either. Alive looking pretty good. A little tilted on the European server, to be honest, but he's back in the Korean one. Uh, Rainer, though, has been looking great in ZVZ. Of course, this being the up-and-coming kid from that, uh, I think it was Tor, I want to say, um, that everyone knows or recognizes yeah. hopefully by now. He might be able to get the qualification spot, but if not, there's a good chance he gets it in the loser's bracket. Yeah, either either one of them, whoever wins. But here we are in game number one in the bottom right as the Red Darren. That's the color. It is alive. It's alive! Dope and alive. Opponent. On the other side of the map. I thought that's a Samsung for a moment. It's right? Sam Yu. <laughs> Sam Yu Raynor. I, I thought so as well. I'm not sure what you means, because uh, he's also combined it with his clan tag. Yeah. Uh, when I search Korean gyu, I get Korean guy as a fix. Mm, close. Well, for those who don't know Raynor, just a little bit of an introduction to him. He is a young, very young. I actually don't know how old he is right now. I remember we started casting when he was like 12 or something. Insane. Um, 
but he's he's been doing pretty well and very specifically in ZVZ. He knocked Snoot out of the European Copa Mexico qualifiers. He knocked Bly out just moments ago here. I mean, I'm not super astonished. It's always nice to see young talent get fostered correctly, but it's it's still surprising to be like, oh right, this young kid plays Starcraft better than I could ever possibly dream to. Yeah, and he seems to have a really good personality as well. He took his losses pretty well. His family really supports him. What do you think anyone is going to be jealous of? Like, you might be je not be jealous of him being a pro gamer, but like, be jealous that his family attends like esports events and like cheers him on. I mean, my family tries, right? But <laughs> they're never going to attend an event <laughs> to watch me cast. So that's a. Uh, I mean, I'm just saying it's a pretty good setup for this guy. Um, so young and. Still good at the game, and everyone else is retiring, am I right? So he's gonna be really good. No, I'm just kidding. I always gotta insert a dead game joke in there somewhere. Did you see uh, Hayoka's tweet about Overwatch? <laughs> no. So apparently they're making all the same, I guess, meme, you know, things about dead game that they do exactly the same as StarCraft 2, like talking about the viewership is low and whatnot. And he was just like, oh, it's exactly like StarCraft 2, that's why Huck's casting. <laughs> Oh, that's odd. I just got invited to a party by the Li Feng casters, but I didn't know you could do that while you're in a game? Are you not... Is that I'm busy on Korea? Maybe that's why. No, no, it's, it has nothing to do with that. I just didn't know that you would actually get... That you could. Like, you think about it, like, you shouldn't be able to invite somebody who's in a game, right? Like, that doesn't make sense. To a party, I could actually see it, because... Uh, I feel there's other... Like, if you're in, like, a... Well, actually, I have no idea. If you're in a, if you're in a dungeon, can you invite to a party elsewhere? No, you can't. I don't know. I was just gonna go with the whole dungeon. thing that usually we're on busy. So if there were technical technological advancements, <laughs> we wouldn't even have noticed. Like we put on automatic busy as most uh, most pro gamers do. Any anyway. Oh, it's a Hellbat attack versus what is a Ling Flood. Oh, I, I like this. For a live, of course, he may or may not be aware of like the up and comingness that is Raynor. He might just be like, oh, this is some random foreigner whose name I don't recognize. I'll just hit him with like a pretty brute force attack and see how he does. Because it can either I, A, win him the game or B, just like test the metal of his opponent. Rarely do these attacks fail so miserably that you're like, okay, well, that was just game. But he does, it could go poorly. It, actually, I like this. I like this trace out of a live. I guess Ling Flood is a bit strong of a word, but this, like, 16 Lings this early can really surprise someone who's going for, you know, not the quickest wall, because it's a big wall, or someone who has only, um, you know, eight Marines and a tank, but against a Hellbat all-in, like, uh, or Borderline all-in, this is supposed to do damage, Lings are not the way to go, and Raynor really just does not have scouting for this. The best bet, I would think, is, like, if he had those Lings over here and is attacking right now, he would get the two reinforcing Hellions and a couple of SCVs, maybe pull Hellive back, but his links really came to the top north for whatever reason. And this just looks super terrible for Rainer. Let's we'll see how Queens do. They do have advanced notice, so they can kind of kite. They did not take advantage of the high ground for that long, however. Focus fire on that medevac is exactly what you need to do. Get micro from Alive, however. There are the links. There they are. Instant pull on the SCVs, however, was really nice from Alive. Yeah, I mean, the worker count's not great in the first place, but back at home for Rainer, there's, there's almost no cleaning this up. The medevac finally goes down, Oof. so might have some hope. So the drone's surround one Hellbat, but that's that's not looking so good for him. He's down to 30 workers, getting chances over to the third. Ling's flooding and trying to get hits where they can. The Marines are still alive, I think, is the biggest problem with this. Yeah, yeah, they're going to be able to tear down these individual queens. More Hellions, a couple Hellbats, of course, he transformed the Lings on the rally forward. And even if Rainer does eventually clean this up, he's taking way too much damage. This attack has definitely worked. And then some. Hellions, uh, probably better enough as Hellions. Yeah, I like that Alive transformed the two Hellbats. We're going to get into that third base. Oh, roasty toasty. Mmm, delicious. Thank you to Run Into Dreams, who's also enjoying the roasting and the toasting for 34 months. <laughs> GG's to Alive. Uh, Ronan says, I am an old man of base trade TV, and I declare it remains worth every penny, Ace Gate Heart. Thank you, Ronan. It's been a pleasure having you along with this crazy ride, man. Hells yeah. So, that Hellbat attack doesn't usually work. A little unfortunate for Rainer to just be caught so off guard here, but... 
Well, so that's what I like about that move, though, right? Like, it is really a good test of where your opponent is. And now we might see Alive even just cheese him in game two because he's like, ah, this guy probably can't handle, like, three racks Reaper or something, depending on what the map is. Like, if this is Galactic Process, the series could be over here and here now. I agree, 100%. It is King Sejong Station. Uh, another map to maybe be a little worried about. Not as bad, but maybe. Yeah, not three racks Reaper, but maybe he bothers doing the tank push because he figures Rainer can't hold it. Uh, the way this is timing out, by the way, I'd like to let everyone know is we won't be casting the entirety of the Leaf Fang Cup qualifiers because there's a loser's bracket that'll go a little bit longer than we want it to. But about an hour from now are the WCS Intercontinental Copa Mexico W whatever qualifiers and we'll be switching gears to those. So probably got another best of three in us after this. But after that, we'll probably have to take a small break and await the WCS qualifiers. Yes. Server qualifiers. There's a cat on me now. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go in the game. Oh, he's so lovely, though. He wants the head rubs. Mwah. Okay. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, a taste of the cat lady life. Spawning in the bottom right side, he is currently up one game in this best of three qualifying match. It's going to be the Red Terran player alive. In the top left, as the blue zerg, he is Rainer. Okay, I think I've I've managed to solve the mystery of Alive's necessity to host lobbies. Okay. okay. Are you ready for this, Yeah, This is like if you guys get some rift conspiracies in chat, get those tinfoil hats up. So, everyone knows zombie ribs are pretty tough nut to crack, right? Not easily somebody who shares love and somebody's probably mm. a little bit scary from afar, right? Hear me out. Hear me out. Alive, as it turns out, has a huge crush on Zombrio. He's got a taste of that mm. white chocolate wants some more type thing. And he needs to find a way to get her attention. Now, he's watched the stream, and his English is probably somewhat decent. And he's, he's just seen me fail cringingly for years. He's probably watched others fail at their attempts to sw uh, woo Zombie Grub. So he says, what's one thing she always seems to go? Oh, she always talks about being able to host lobbies well. So he clues in from watching all these casts and says, okay, I'll learn to do this and I'll impress her through making all these lobbies. Because here's the thing. You've definitely noticed he's been doing it a lot. That's true. That is very true. So perhaps that's phase one complete, get her attention. Mm. Phase two, make her fall in love with a Korean pro Terran. Hello, these are like all of the zombie rub love mixture recipes, like okay, ingredients. But for someone who can't even, like, doesn't even know what a live looks like, she talked about that yesterday. <laughs> no, no, don't ruin this. Don't ruin this. This is so perfect. Can you um, can you even imagine him trying to flirt in real life? Like, uh, how would he even uh, talk in real life? I mean, I have no idea. Steve landed you. Steve spoke. I have no idea what Steve could look like. Perfect English, as far as you know. <laughs> as far as I'm aware. Yeah, yeah. Totes, totes, my goats. All right. Well, my silly theories aside, uh, one thing I am curious about though, is how Rainer goes about this match. I mean, it, it would suck if this was something where he's kind of pigeonholed to ZVZ being the only thing he's really, really good at right now. Because I do feel most players in the game, if you're good enough to win against other good players in ZVZ, you probably can take on your odd share of ZVT. And that first build, first map from Alive is a little bit aggressive and kind of hard to deal with, but not something you should have lost the game to still. No. Ah, oh, this is always complicated. Running around the Reaper, getting on top of the SCV. SCV is immediately pulled, so it's going to come back, and it, it is not going to be canceled. This is not a speed follow-up. I mean, hopefully it's not going to get canceled. <laughs> There we go. Here's the reaper. It would be devastating if it got canceled by slow lings. It would just be the worst. So, yeah. lings are cleaned up. Unfortunately, can't really escape with the reaper hot on their tails. Literal tails. And uh, live is going for that faster second barrack. So, uh, Rainer, okay, good job. He delays the CC a little bit. It's a little annoying for a lie. Does he get the scout? Does he prepare for the double medevac drop? Because this has... I mean, this has killed really good zergs with the first two drops. They just slightly under defend and get steamrolled. Yeah. Slightly under defend. So what do you think the composition is going to be from Rainer? Do you think we see him go with more lings, more banlings, maybe add the Namida, or do you think he goes more the Snoot style? 
Uh, judging from last game, I would say he goes middling bling. But I don't know. I really don't know how this guy plays versus Terran. The last time we like I, we saw him in a big tournament because uh, we didn't see him at all in Copa Continental. If we did, it would be ZVZ anyway. Uh, or we did, I guess, one game. Oh, by Reaper. Uh, was many months ago, so it would have changed by now too. Well, this is risky. This is risky. You. Not only is it just four Marines, and they might have Ling, which is exactly what's happening here. You want all Marines possible in the medevac, so that's 16, right? Uh, yeah. Any less, and the attack's surprisingly less effective, although Rainer's now wasting his Lings. Okay. But it's 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 interesting, right? Because it's kind of like waste the Lings trading versus Marines here. I mean, of course, that second attack was no good, but waste the Lings trading out attempting back over here, opposed to on the other side of the map where they will be with the medevac. I don't know. It's... Unfortunately, I didn't uh, get him too much, though. Uh, worker count sitting on 38 to 33 currently for SCVs, and I guess Rainer could use a few more drones. Unfortunately, despite having that third base down, appears to be just using it for larva for the time being. So, I mean, while a lot of lings is good, and frankly, they're going to yeah. be necessary here, his drone count is not the greatest. No, it is not. And while queens and lings are very good, I, I'm pretty sure you'd want to have like six, eight more drones at this point in time, plus defending against this drop. See what happens. Uh, yeah, of course, uh, Terrans are walling off by now, so Rainier, he's got to try, but it doesn't work out. Alive does not push in, though. He cuts an Overlord, and while he could have cleared up some creep and probably kited against the Lings, he instead tries to go for the natural. Rainier did not put on a Spore Crawler, something that most stars are doing automatically. Ooh, that, that Widowmine gets a pretty helped. nice hit. It would have helped clean up the wood of mine, but it burrows anyway. Whatever. Yo, there is an element of this we need to bring up that we usually talk about for the Koreans, but it's the European coming to the Korean server for once playing. So, I mean, there's going to be a little bit of a problem here when it comes to control. And watching wood of mines get those hits might be latency. I'm not going to blame it. I'm not going to give him, like, a scapegoat, but it might actually be latency related. Mm hmm. Well, one medevac already low. Alive used that drop as harassment. He did not attempt to clear up creep, and in doing so, he might have noticed Rainer's surprisingly small army. Or snipable army, whatever you want to call it. Um, but he didn't go for it. And uh, Rainer lives. He's getting a better drone count now, too. He's really been adding in a lot. Uh, unfortunately, his lair, not the quickest it could be, but he has those really fast upgrades, so he might want that anyway over whatever the lair will give him. Whether that's a spire or an infestation pit. Alive has fallen up with a two base attack, and Rainer's well, he did a decent job yep. of winning the first time. The second Beat time. It. Go ahead and hit shift L really quick. It's a little bit sad to look at. <laughs> okay, that's gonna be not, not devastating, but you're just kind of like, oh, wow, that is not a cost-effective game for our Zerg players so far. Oh, well, here, Overlord's 30 lings, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I had a couple of resubs. Ericoniwa for the sixth month and Juna for the 15 month. <laughs> I love how us trying to read sub names really just sounds like suddenly we've forgotten English in the middle of saying a regular word. <laughs> Shush. Well, I mean, I, I fall prey to that, too. I mean, you're not the only one on this one. <laughs> uh, this is a pretty scary push. Rainer does not have a Bailey Nest yet. He does have those upgrades I was talking about. Now, that will certainly make his Lings more helpful. He's got quite a number of Queens, too, going up to a total of 10, but he never broke down these back rocks. He is going to go for an Infestation Pit, so doesn't even have the opportunity to maybe get some Mutas to snipe Medivacs or Tanks. Investors will not be helpful. If he's even planning on getting Investors, he might have wanted to go for a Hive. He did not get a second scout in Alive's base, and he didn't even really get a first one. So he had no idea there was going to be a follow-up push. Get a guess, but he's not totally prepared for it. He's not prepared at all, I would say. No, and it, it's a bit strange, because this is that typical move you make. I mean, the Ross get broken down is a little bit untypical, but I mean, the fact is that you're getting attacked to the backside. Drop on the main while this goes on. Marine's going to draw the attention of those Lings. Unfortunately, the mineral line positioning actually isn't the greatest, so he's going to pick up and get away from there. Uh, the fourth base, oh, and the top is just going to have to get cancelled. And if it's not going to get cancelled, it's going to get killed. Natural base under a lot of trouble. Bailey's don't have speed. Oh, no. Taking any sort of fight off creep is going to be impossible. It does come from the backside. It might just get these tanks. Almost gets the tanks. But now he's got to worry about these drops going off. Again, top right. Doesn't go for the base snipe there. Goes for the third base instead. There's more drones available over here. More kills available for the picking. Main base might finally get cleaned up. It's questionable. It's not being handled so well. Not for lack of Ooh. trying. Oh, nice snipe with the medevac. But Ranger just doesn't have a lot of units. That army supply, 47 to the 74 of alive. I think this game might just be a little too far gone at this point. Yeah, he's lost 34 drones. He lost that third base. He's down to 31 drones and is still continuing to lose out. 
uh, it's this game is over, even if it will take a little while longer for Rainer to tap out. So he's Power been, of the Korean Terran. He's been, he's been poisoned and he doesn't know he's dead yet, but he will be dead. Yeah, exactly. Another five I mean, seconds or flip the switch, whatever happens. I think one of the, the the main issues they identify here was like not even Rainer getting ineffective link trades or anything like that, but like, his drone count was so low for so long. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it was a little bit consequence to the links, but the point of it still remains that he never had the economy to support getting a lot in the first place, and that's why we see him fall really short here to alive. Timings are off, two two so late, bailing speed only just finished recently. Like there's just so much that he was just barely missing out on. Yeah. That could have maybe made up the number difference, but didn't. It was not that perfect defense for the first seven minutes that we might see from, you know, other Zergs. He was close to it, but never quite perfect. GG. Alive will qualify. Yeah, it's kind of the regular crew of people you see in the Alima League in, say, uh, Lee Fang Cups, like Billowy, Alive, Gumiho. Um, these are all people you expect. So, uh... Congrats. Uh, Rainer, of course, still has a chance, by the way. Keep in mind, I mean, the tournament itself, $2,200, worth sticking around in the loser's bracket for, in my opinion. But I think he gets seated on Bion's side of the bracket. Loser of 48. Yeah, he's... Yeah, there you go. He's uh, going to have to face Bion to qualify. Yikes. Yeah, that could be a little bit messy. Uh, my cat being chatty. What's up, Millie? How's it going? All right, guys, we're going to go to a break. We got, like, maybe one best of three left in us. We'll see how timing works out for us. As we Again, about 50 minutes from now, we got the WCS Mexico Copa Intercontinental main qualifiers to cast. So stick around. See you soon.